I'll come back to it to the Snakes Life. Today we're going to have a look at the Exoterra Digital Infrared Thermometer. And just to have a little bit of a, a talk about infrared thermometers in general. So obviously you can get your analogue thermometers like these. And these just stick to the wall of your enclosure. Uh, and then obviously you can get the digital ones with the probe. And the probe can go on the floor or you can put it against the wall. Uh, but these are actually measuring ambient temperature or air temperature. So what the infrared thermometers are doing is measuring surface temperature. So these are actually good if you've got a basking bulb, for instance, which is pushing heat down onto the floor. Uh, you can use one of these infrared thermometers to measure that surface. Uh, they're also good for heat mats. In fact, if you're setting up a heat mat and you go onto a care guide, you might see ambient temperature and surface temperature. So when you're setting up that heat mat, you might actually want to set it up to the surface temperature and use one of these infrared thermometers to measure that surface temperature. Obviously, you would have to keep measuring it regularly to make sure it's staying at that temperature and obviously use a thermostat to regulate it. So when you're looking for one of these, you might end up on Amazon and you'll probably find thousands and thousands of different ones. And the range in prices, I've seen them for £15 and I've seen them for like a couple of hundred pounds. So it can be quite confusing uh, trying to decide which one to buy. Uh, there's loads of different brands of them and obviously you, you want one that's going to last longer than a week and you want one that's going to give you accurate temperatures and not just random temperatures so i think it's quite good that we've got one from a, a reptile brand obviously exoterra are a trusted well-known brand that make enclosures and other reptile accessories there are a couple of other reptile brands that are making these devices uh, komodo is one of them for instance and the unit itself it's pretty small fits in the hand nicely it's quite comfortable to hold actually it's, it is plastic but it's got this sort of rubberized coating on it. It takes two AAA batteries which is handy. So this is just a point and shoot so if we hold down the button and point it at the surface and there you can see we get a reading 29 degrees and we can move it around keeping our thumb on the button and it'll just keep reading the different surface temperatures And then as soon as you let go, it'll store that last reading. The one downside to this device is that when you are pointing it down at a surface, your screen's upside down, which I think it'd be better if the screen was the other way up, really, but only a minor thing. And so one handy little feature with this is this button here. So if you look on the screen there, you can actually see that symbol turning on and off as I press this button. And that's the torch feature. So you can see the torch lighting up there. So obviously you're actually reading the temperature through here. Oh, hello Phoebe. <laughs> but yeah, we have this torch feature so that basically if you have this turned on, that'll light up the surface just as a sort of guide to show you whereabouts you're measuring uh, I think that's quite a handy little feature but obviously you can turn it off if you don't want it and so that is it basically just a quick look at this I've been using this for a long time now and it's never given me any problems it's always worked fine for me so I can recommend it so yeah that was the Exoterra digital infrared thermometer thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one